Mike Perry just posted some very concerning uh, videos on his Instagram story. The pictures start with him on a boat uh, with his fiance, and then he takes a picture of a broken window through a door and shows a very nasty laceration on his leg, along with a very large and scary pool of blood on the floor. Very nasty and large laceration with a very concerning pool of blood on the floor as well. There was a broken um, window on a door, so if you put two and two together, most likely it's possible that he kicked through the door. And he was also, you know, took a video of all this and posted it to his Instagram story. So it was very concerning stuff. So based on all the information we have available to us and without making any speculations, based on the location of this laceration at the distal one third of his leg, I think it's very possible that he injured that greater saphenous vein with the amount of blood on the floor. So looking at the location of where that laceration seems to be over his left medial lower leg, it's most likely that he injured that large saphenous vein. Um, the good thing was there was no pulsatile bleeding um, on the video, uh, although there was a very concerning amount of blood on the floor, but hopefully he only got superficial enough to get that vein. But there was a significant amount of blood where it likely was that large saphenous vein. Now, if you go, if that laceration went a little bit deeper, there's other things that can get injured as well, which are possibly that could have got injured, such as the um, the tendons uh, at the posterior medial aspect of the ankle, uh, posterior tibialis tendon, uh, flexor hallucis longus tendon, and flexor digitorum longus as well, along with the tibial nerve and posterior tibial artery. So hopefully none of those things were injured, but it's very concerning when you see that amount of blood. Um, you know, some good signs where there was no, no further pulsatile bleeding. The location of that laceration, he may have only just injured the, the muscles and not really the tendons, which have a greater healing potential on their own. So hopefully Mike Perry gets the care he needs in terms of his leg, but also for, you know, the, the overall aspect of Mike Perry as well. You know, it, it's very possible he may have kicked through that window you know, not to speculate or anything, but when you see a laceration over the leg and he shows a picture of the broken uh, window in the door, you put two and two together, most likely it was kicked through. Whatever, you know, he was, whatever emotionally he was feeling to, to do something like that. Uh, and then even to post it, you know, uh, you just get very concerned. So hopefully Mike Perry uh, gets in touch uh, with his loved ones um, and the people that care about him and, and along with the UFC and he gets all the help that he needs and um, you know we're all in this together and we all want to see Mike Perry be the best Mike Perry possible so um, that's what I think was going on with his leg and hopefully again Mike Perry gets the help that he needs and we'll see you guys here next time